This is Benjamin Sullivan. Benjamin won third prize last night at the BP Portrait Awards and he's here today with his portrait of Hugo Williams, the poet, and the portrait was painted in um, Hugo's home in North London. And I was wondering whether Benjamin could tell me a couple of things. You're, you're a BP regular. Tell me what, why you enter every year. Well, I suppose it's just such good publicity, you know, it happens annually in central London during the height of summer, you know, every year, and uh, I think 300,000 people walk past just the London uh, show before it goes yeah. on tour, so, I mean, it really is the only game in town for, you know, some painters of my own career. Really. And of course, if they like your portrait and make a note of your name, you must get quite a few contacts off. That's them. right, you know, often sales or commissions will result from the show. I mean, last year, for example, uh, you know, a couple of direct commissions from the show and I think I sold, sold the painting as well, so, oh. and that's just, uh, you know, what can happen, so. Um, tell me about being a professional portrait artist and the fact that it often involves going to paint somebody in their own home rather than asking them to come to your studio. Well, you live out in Suffolk. Yeah, don't certainly. You? I mean, you have to be prepared to travel. Yeah. Uh, I don't live in London, like you say, so most of the paintings I do are at the subject's home, which is. But you know, as you get uh, obviously the. Some of the sitter will be in that environment as well, so it's often a nice thing to that makes them feel more comfortable? They can have the things around them that, that make them... I think so, yeah, I mean, certainly, if, certainly for Hugo, you know, we did it in his study in his Islington home, where he's lived for, I think, over 50 years, so he's been writing poetry for the whole of his creative career, you know, in that room, so... And I, I understand you have an interesting musical background to this uh, That's right, really really loud uh, early Elvis which is wonderful <laughs> so loud you couldn't talk <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, you have a very distinctive style and I've been following you since the 2007 Lynn Painter Saint Nevis oh, Prize yeah. which you won with the portrait of your wife yes uh, who I met yesterday yeah. with your delightful daughter um, and it seems to me you, you have a style which is both very traditional but very painterly at the same time in the sense that your portraits always look to me like you enjoy paint. Can you tell me a little bit about your approach? Well, to, to actually painting? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I love painting. It's what I do, you know, in oils. I do certain other mediums as well. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, I always do, I usually do a kind of, a drawing first, and this this is one of you, you've seen at the, yes, it was at the portrait painting portrait. show. So I always start with a drawing. Uh, then essentially I pounce the drawing, trace the drawing onto a canvas, start with an underpainting, and then you know. So paint you're up. so you're basically spending a lot of time doing the drawing with the subject in the first sitting. Yeah. And then you're coming back. Yeah, I make a with, quite intense drawing yeah. over a, usually a couple of days yeah. and then come back after. Right. And, and when you start, are you starting with the head or are you starting... Yeah, I usually start with or? the head. Start with the head. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's what you're there for. Yeah. To some degree. So. <laughs> um, and you, you, one of the things I've noticed in this show is that there are a lot of family portraits and I've always noticed in your work there's a lot, I mean I feel like I've followed your life yeah. since 2007. That's very sweet, yeah, some people have said that, you know, before, which is nice, you know, because obviously you've seen us grow up yeah. together almost, yeah. you know. I think the first painting I had this, in this show was a picture of my mother actually in 2002. Yeah. And then it's been a few of Ginny over the years, yeah. and then the odd other person as well. So. <laughs> but presumably, the point about painting from family is you get that practice of painting from observation, which is what you really need to be able to do if you're going to be a professional portrait artist. That's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't just rely on photos. No. No, I mean, if I'm doing a you know, painting in the studio, which is often of someone 
And the ones I've done in the studio are of people who can sit really all the time, you know. Right. So then you can just, at your leisure, you know, yeah. paint away, and it's wonderful. And, and, and what do you feel is the proper relationship between observation and photos? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, not a fan of orthodoxy. So I don't, I don't really like these people. You know, I don't get this not thing of don't, you know. No. Just do what feels right, but don't rely on a photograph, certainly. Yeah. Uh, but if you have to use one, I mean, normally in the commission, you know, when I'm doing a commission, because people expect to sit for a certain amount of time yeah. and they won't sit any longer. So I usually uh, leave, leave the sittings to just do the head and the hands. Yes. And then perhaps use you a reference photo of the clothes, you know, yeah. the folds and the jacket. Yeah. 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 That's a happy medium, I think. Yeah. <laughs> The fact you didn't win last night means you get to enter again. Right. You're going to keep entering. Well, certainly, because as I said at the start, you know, it's such good publicity. You know, it really is. There's nothing. There's nothing else on the. Being you know, it's the only so game being, in town. being shortlisted is a big bonus. You either get it on the CV. Uh, as I should a, think as so. Order. Yeah, I don't. Perhaps um, ask me in a week. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just, no, I'm, I was delighted to win the prize. And, yeah. You know, it's lovely to be there. Yeah. And obviously, a bit of money helps us all. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview Pleasure. and I really look forward to continuing to see your portraits in the future. I look forward to it. I guess we might see a baby next year. Perhaps another one even, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you.